Kevin, obviously a disappointing night to lose 1-0 to the local rivals. What were your thoughts on the game? Yeah, of course, naturally disappointed. Uh, I think first and foremost, you don't want to lose any football match, but certainly to your local rivals. Um, disappointed with quite a few things this, this evening. I felt we, we, we looked flat. Um, the energy levels weren't quite there where they were at the weekend. We put in such a you know, tough performance down at Buxton. We just couldn't quite reproduce it here this evening, so uh, naturally disappointed. Couldn't really build any pressure in that second half, tried to get a lot going, but couldn't quite keep the ball. Was that the, was that the key there that you couldn't yeah. keep the ball? Yeah, I think, you know, when you're playing, there's no excuse because the surface is incredible. Um, and, and, you know, that was a message at half time the speed of ball, can we move it? Can we, can we, uh, get, uh, can we, can we get lots of options on the ball for, for the man that's on the ball? It's just those sort of things just weren't there this evening, and at times we, we weren't brave enough. Um, you know, we, we, at times we were hiding a little bit. Um, so, you know, it's, I've got to be very careful I don't come out because, you know, they've put an incredible shift in at the weekend. The, the work rate was there, of course, always. I never question that. You just need to be a little bit more brave, especially when you're playing a local derby. You know, I said to him before, and it's about the team that is brave. It's the team that keeps the ball calm. Uh, you don't lose your reds. And, you know, it was, uh, it was disappointing. Well, you fell behind about midway through that second half. Was the, the reaction to that not quite what you were looking for? Yeah, I was expecting. I think you know it was just I said at half time. You know, I could, it would just I could just sense. You know, if we if we didn't step it up the tempo in the second half, we'd come undone. And you know, I've been in the game long enough to to, to sense these things. And you know, it was a it was a it was a poor penalty, obviously, to give away. Um, you know, we, we, um, we didn't quite react the way that I would have liked to. I thought we just panicked a little bit when we got in and around the edge of the box or in the box uh, and we just didn't show any calmness. So, yeah, of course, really disappointed. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, we were never ever going to win every football match from now to in the season. It's impossible with the fixtures we've got coming up. Saturday, Tuesday, it's about how we react. It's as simple as that. I just said to him in there, you know, it's how we react now. We cannot let this uh, result derail our season. I certainly won't let that happen. Um, so so we're, we're looking for a strong performance at the weekend. I've got to mention that the importance of a reaction after a result like oh, this that is, a, that is key in football. That's what you can do, you know. What, 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 we're not going to cry about it, you know. It's a, it's, a, it's a football match at the end of the day. We've lost the football match. There's still 15 games to go. There's still an awful long way to go. Um, you know, we're more than capable of winning, you know, quite a lot of those. So, but we can't afford to have too many performances like this this evening. We've got a lot of away games. We've got to dig in. We've got to be brave, and we've got to take our chances when they come along. So, um, but. You know, for me, the message is we learn from it, we dust ourselves down, and we go again Thursday. Obviously, local derby tonight. A lot of fans made their way up here to, to support the team. What would you like to see? Yeah, them? you know, listen, I can only apologise that we didn't send them home happy. Um, but again, they were fantastic support. Um, you know, they've been excellent since I've been in. Like I say, we don't never want to lose a match, and you certainly don't want to lose against your rivals. But we have, you know, and I'm sure the supporters will still turn up at the weekend and get behind us. And uh, hopefully, we can repay that with a with a strong performance and a and a good result. And you know, it's. Um, it's 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 unfortunate. I hope after on, on Saturday they mid tail. I'm sure you'll be expecting a, a really tough battle at home. Uh, the, every game's going to be a battle. I just said to him in there because it's because it's us. It's South Shields. You know, it's a big scout for everyone in the league, and the players have got to get used to that. You know, you've got to you've got to you know you've actually got to take that on board and enjoy it. Um, you know, teams really want to come and beat you. So you know, we're the home team at the weekend. You know, we're more than capable of winning the football match, but we've got to do things a little bit better. To finish with a couple of injury questions, obviously Jordan Hunter came off towards the end there, he took a couple of really late challenges towards the end. How is he at the moment? Yeah, he's, he'll be fine. He's, um, he probably could have stayed on, but you know, we just wanted to get another attacker on the pitch. He was limping a little bit, but you know, he, he'll recover tomorrow and, and yeah, I'm sure he'll be fine for the weekend. And JJ and Cedric, do you think they'll be closer for Saturday? Yeah, uh, I'm hoping. I'm hoping they'll train Thursday. They've told me they'll train Thursday, so... Going into to Saturday's match, it looks like we'll have a full squad apart from, from Rossi, uh, Callum Ross, uh, who's long-term at the moment. But apart from that, yeah, I'm hoping to, to have a full squad to pick from.